Hello everybody, my name is Behzad Farahani. Today I'm going to present you a work, Crack Closure Analysis using Digital Image Coloration in the Virtual Force International Conference on the Structure Integrity. The work has been performed in NAG, University of Porto, Portugal. So this uh, presentation includes some information about the work outline, model definition, fatty crack generation with the experimental setup, fatty crack measurement, unixial tensile test with the loading setup and the DIC setup. Regarding DIC, the crack measurement and the results, the crack closure was also studied using the Elbers method by the DIC results and the deformation and the displacement fields were obtained. Conclusion. Uh, the, the presentation ends with the conclusions. So the work outline. This work aims at the study of the crack closure phenomenon in the cracked specimens. There are four empty specimens made of uh, aluminum alloy AA6082T6 was prepared. The specimen was fatigued in order to uh, build the crack with a certain length and the crack length was measured by the traveling microscopes. Consequently, the cracked uh, specimen was submitted to a unixial tensile test with a peak load to open the crack and the 2D digital image coloration system was set up in order to measure the displacement, the formation and the crack lens upon loading. And the cracked specimen was loaded and unloaded with the same load intervals and the data was collected and processed by the DIC. And the virtual clip gauges were defined on the crack flanks and the force displacement upon loading and unloading was monitored based on the Elbers method. In this slide, the schematic view of the empty specimen geometry is shown with the dimensions are in millimeter and the material properties of the corresponding material. So the specimen has the notch, initial notch of 60 millimeter in the center and the thickness of three millimeter. This is a configuration of the fatigue loading test. Two traveling microscopes were installed in front and in the rear side of the specimen in order to measure the crack. And the, the table uh, reports the, the loading condition with the maximum load, minimum load, frequency, and also the ratio. And these two traveling microscopes are uh, responsible for the crack measurement. And, the, and this uh, measured crack is considered as the reference crack lens. So here, uh, the result of the fatty crack measurement is, uh, is shown for uh, according to the configuration in the bottom side on the for for instance for the left uh, left side of the crack after reaching 250000 cycles so the the corresponding crack lens was obtained and i'm going to just play a video in order to show the the crack generated on the specimen this is uh, captured by the traveling microscope Both sides of the uh, of the of the notch with the cracks are visible. And uh, in order to make the the unixial tensile test, uh, a, a, a portable testing machine was uh, developed and designed by the, by the research group at Energy. And as you see in the first image, this is the, the general view of the machine and also the grip and the specimen uh, installed in the, um, in the machine. This is the general view of the, of the optical um, system, camera and lens of the IC system and the specimen uh, mounted in the, in the machine. And on the right side, you can see some information regarding the DIC problem domain, field of view with the sensor size and the Cartesian condition. So the a four megapixel camera with the Seamount Radagon of 60 millimeter lens with an extension of 12 millimeter was hired here. So this is the crack lens measurement by digital image coloration. So 
in the in the figure in the center you can see that there are there is a there are discontinuities observed in the displacement field so in this case it was possible to to consider these discontinuities as the crack and it was feasible to 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 measure the crack lens by uh, de de detecting the the notch point notch tip and the crack tip and in and it is uh, uh, this result will be considered as the as the experimental digital image coloration result. So the preliminary results uh, extracted from this analysis is the crack lens and subsequently the stress intensity factor. So the reference value of the crack, uh, only one side of the crack, for instance, in this case is the left side. Uh, so the, the crack the, the the fatty crack uh, actually eliminating the notch is 10.70 millimeter by the reference which is basically obtained from the traveling microscope and the digital image coloration actually detected the crack as 9.9 .9 millimeter with a with a deviation of 2.8 percent regarding the stress intensity factor we use the astm a standard and uh, it gave us the stress intensity factor at 345 and also through the digital image coloration it was obtained 346 with a deviation of 0.41 percent i must mention that uh, the, the stress intensity factor for the digital image coloration has been um, determined through the over deterministic algorithm basically using the the williams series expansion and also single value decomposition equation so regarding the elber method uh, it was according to the methodology proposed by elber it was possible to to consider two vir virtual clip gauge on the um, on the surface of the crack and also the specimen and uh, it is uh, feasible to to obtain the the displacement on loading and unloading uh, stage of the stroke uh, of the test and uh, on the right side you can see the the force displacement obtained on these two clip gauges and uh, the result shows that the the local opening and closure of the crack uh, actually took place at the three percent of the of the maximum load which is 300 newton and re and when we reach the 10 percent of the maximum load which is um, one kilonewton the crack is already fully opened and in the case of the 10k 10 kilonewton this is the wide widely open region and this phenomenon is also observed by the displacement and the displacement variation for different loading stages i'm gonna uh, give you another experimental optical result uh, basically obtained by the espi and on the on the top you can see some uh, displacement variations of the espi and on the bottom side you can see for the dic so in the first uh, image which is related to 260 to 300 newton there is no crack it means that there is the displacement uh, variation there is no discontinuity nothing considered as the crack was but as soon as we reach the 650 to 750 newton the crack is already uh, propagated in the um, in the specimen and uh, we have the discontinuities and it was basically represent the, the crack at the load of 4k which is the third image the crack is really opened and the displacement also shows this uh, phenomenon and at the end with the 10 kilonewton of the force we have the widely open crack and the displacement also proved this regarding the the same phenomenon it is possible to to obtain the the strain field for the same uh, loading uh, stages as 300 750 4k and also 10 kilonewton the, the in the first image it is uh, obvious that there is no crack uh, in the in the material because we don't have any 
any discontinuities and also there is nothing to to show the the highest strain when we reach the second image which is the 650 to 750 we can see that then there is a discontinuity and also there is the highest strain value on the on the crack and the as soon as we reach the 4k this phenomenon is more ap ap uh, apparent and even the bean shape at the crack tip is also already generated and once we reach the 10 kilonewton this bean, bean shaped part is more stable and also more visible and this is the the, the peak load the conclusion of this work is uh, is the uh, is the following the specimen empty specimen with the central notch was fatigued in order to generate the crack and the crack specimen was loaded and unloaded under the unexial tensile condition with the same peak load and the two digit 2d digital image correlation was used in order to monitor the displacement and the deformation upon loading and unloading a stress intensity factor and the crack lengths were measured through the DIC and also compared to the reference solutions and a good agreement was verified and based on the Elber method two, uh, two uh, virtual gauges were considered on the on the specimen close to the crack uh, flanks and uh, it was the result shows that Basically, and the three percent of the peak load, which is three hundred newton, we have already reached the full length uh, crack, and at the ten percent of the peak load, which is the one kilo newton, the crack is already fully opened, and the the results of the displacement and the and the strain, considering discontinuities as. Uh, if it is dominant in the structure so it can be related to the crack existence it can show it it can infer that the the in the in the in the load below 300 newton there is no discontinuity so there is no crack and this is the this study is still ongoing for for further analysis thank you very much for your attention